Let's bless God this morning. Hallelujah. What a faithful God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. We want to say thank you, Jesus. Somebody that is excited this morning, let's appreciate the name of the Lord. Let's appreciate the King of Kings. Let's appreciate the Lion of the tribe of Judah. I want us to give praise to God this morning. Let's worship his holy name. Lord, we bless you this morning. We want to say thank you. Thank you for the breaking of a new day. Thank you for the breaking of an awesome day. It is a good day. Lord, we say thank you for your message this morning, for the rising of this morning. We want to appreciate you. Please, let's go ahead and thank him. Say something sweet to the ears of the Holy Spirit. Oftentimes, we want to know how much God loves us. But we have to also show God how much we love him. Lord, we say thank you. We appreciate your name. Lord, we glorify your name. Lord, we exalt you. Lord, we enthrone you. Lord, we worship you. Thank you for the breaking of a new day. Thank you for an awesome day like this. Thank you for a beautiful morning like this. You are God eternal. Your ways are perfect. You're, you are beautiful beyond description. You are too marvelous for words. We prostrate before you this morning. We thank you. We bless you. We adore you. We honor you. Thank you, our maker. Thank you, our God. Thank you, our Father. Thank you, Jehovah Rohai. Thank you, Jehovah Rofika. Thank you, Jehovah Sikenu. Thank you, Jehovah El Shaddai. We bow down before you. Thank you for your presence. Thank you because your ears are open to our prayers this morning. Let your name be exalted forever. Forever, oh God, your word is settled in heaven. So we praise you. We praise you. We praise you. We praise you. Somebody thank him. Bless him this morning. Thank you, Jesus. Let your name be exalted in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Somebody say a good amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Welcome to this Friday edition of Command Your Morning. Let's pick up. Let's go back to the scripture God gave us uh, at the beginning of the week. And it has been our anchor scripture. And we've been praying from there. And this morning, we will add more prayers. Hallelujah. We will add more prayers. Glory be to God. Somebody asked me a very powerful question during the midweek service. He said, you've been praying and you've not seen results. What should you do? I answered the person that the solution to an unanswered prayer is more prayers. Hallelujah. As far as that thing you are asking God for has not entered your hand, what do you do? More prayers. Hallelujah. The solution to an unanswered prayer is what? More prayers. Glory be to God. It's not quitting. It's not murmuring. It's not complaining. It's not getting discouraged. More prayers. And I believe God that as you pray more, you will see more results. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen and amen and amen. Are you there this morning? First, where do I call? First word, Samuel chapter number 7, verse 12. That is where we are being praying from. Hallelujah. Welcome all our friends online this morning, joining us to pray. God will answer your prayers in the name of Jesus. What did verse 12 say? Then Samuel took a stone and set it between Mizpah and Shem and called the name of it Ebenezer, saying, Hitherto has the Lord helped us. We call this week Ebenezer week. Hallelujah. Ebenezer week. Hallelujah. My week 
of supernatural help. My, my help has come. That's what they call it. My help has come. And I know that somebody's help has come. In the name of our Lord Jesus. In the name of our Lord Jesus. My help has come. Can you declare this morning? My help has come. My helper is here. It's not far from me. My helper is with me. My helper is in me. My helper is for me. Hallelujah. My help has come. Raise your right hand and say, My Heavenly Father, having received mercy this morning, I thank you because you are my helper. I am not helpless. Lord, I am not helpless. My help has come. Ebenezer, Ebenezer has come. My Ebenezer has come. My help has come. In the name of Jesus, I declare by faith that I am not helpless. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, I am not helpless. In the name of our Lord Jesus, my help has come. My help has come. My help has come. My help has come. In the name of our Lord Jesus, my help has come. This is my Ebenezer season. It's my season of divine help. God is my season of help. It's my season of divine help. I believe you for help. I walk in that dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Abba Father. In the precious name of our Lord Jesus. We got somewhere on Wednesday. We declared that the help of God gives us the advantage. Anytime you, the help of God comes, you have advantage over that situation. Hallelujah. We say that the help of God grants us what? Speed. Glory be to God. Let's add more this morning. Go to the book of First Kings chapter number 5. The help of God gives us the advantage. The help of God grants us speed. That's why if there is anything you need as a believer is to always connect to the help of God. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. The help of man may be limited, but the help of God is not limited. Hallelujah. Somebody say amen this morning. First Kings chapter number 5 verse number 4. What did he say? He said, but now the Lord my God had given me rest on every side so that there is no neither adversary nor evil occurrence. Hallelujah. Two things the help of God will do. It will give you rest. Say amen. Two, the help of God will silence every adversary. Will silence every opposition. So we're going to declare this morning. Hallelujah. We're going to declare this morning the help of God. By the help of God, I will know rest. There are some people that don't know what is rest. I'm not talking about lying down to sleep. Mentally, they are troubled. Emotionally, they are troubled. Even in their dream, it's from one battle to another battle. Day in, day out. Week in, week out. In their marriage, is trouble. In their finance, is trouble. In their health, is trouble. But this morning, as you call on Ebenezer, you will know help. You will enter your rest. He said, the Lord, we, the Lord my God has given me rest. Can I tell you why Solomon made that declaration? Solomon reigned in Israel. And throughout his reign, there was no war. Hallelujah. Solomon was one of the kings that reigned in Israel. Throughout the time he reigned, till the time he died, there was no singular war in Israel. God will give you all round rest. You will no rest in your family. You will no rest in your emotion. You will have rest in your mind. Your mind will rest. Not every time your mind is full and is troubled. Two, you are going to pray. He said by that rest, he said there was no evil occurrence and there was no adversary. The help of God silences every opposition. Lift up your right hand this morning. If you are with you, say my heavenly father. In the name of Jesus, I rise up in your sanctuary this morning to make my prayers unto you that hear the prayers. My God and my Father, I stir up your help. Ebenezer, arise and give me rest. Lord God Almighty, I declare from this meeting, I will know rest. I will have rest. In the name
name of Jesus. I will have rest. I will know rest. In the name of Jesus Christ. By your help, I enter my season of rest. Lord God Almighty, rest in my mind. Rest of mind. Rest emotionally. Rest spiritually. Rest financially. Rest maritally. Rest ministerially. Rest in business. Oh God, my Father. Lord rest, Lord rest by your help, by your help, by your help, rest for Lord Jehovah. Is anybody is anybody that desire to know rest and to have rest? You're gonna make your cry to God this morning. Because if God does not give you rest, you will not have rest. Lord, rest all around, rest, rest all around. I want to know your rest, I want to enjoy your rest by your help, oh God. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, by your help this season, every adversary, every position is, is, is arrested, is, is silenced in the name of Jesus. I command total silence around me. I silence every opposition. I silence Arakatola. He said, The Lord has given me rest that there's no evil occurrence. Lord, by your help, I silence every adversary. I silence every adversary. No evil occurring around me by the help of God. By the help of God, no evil occurring this season and beyond. No evil occurring in my family. No evil occurring in my going out. In the name of Jesus, can somebody shout a better amen? Or oh, can we say an agreement amen this morning? While we're just praying, the Holy Spirit just took my mind back to the revelation he showed me two days ago. I was just standing by the roadside. There was this ghastly accident that crossed so many houses and people. This morning, we deprogrammed that event. It shall not see the light of the day. I wish somebody is with me in the place of prayer this morning. I was just standing in the revelation in the night. I saw a long truck crash, crash so many buildings. And not that buildings crashed, people also, as it was crashing the building, people, it crashed along so many people. I woke up and said, it shall not stand. Neither shall it come to pass. We are going to raise our voice in prayers this morning. Lord God Almighty, every program accident this season, every program destruction this season, Lord God, by the blood of Jesus, we delete it. By the blood of Jesus, we cancel it. Raise your right and say, my heavenly Father, I stand in agreement with this altar this morning. I stand in agreement with the angels of God, with the, with the witnesses in the house. I stand in agreement with the spirit of God. I stand in agreement with the name of Jesus. I stand in agreement, Lord God, with the power of the word of God. And I declare every program destruction, program destruction of lives and property, Lord, in the name of Jesus, I decree that it shall not see the light of the day. I decree that it shall not see the light of the day. I cross that opposition. I cross that programming in the name of Jesus. It shall not come near my dwelling place. It shall not come near my environment. It shall not come near anyone connected to me. Labor on the high sea, on the land, in the air. Labor in we stand in the gap for everyone connected to command your money. We stand in the gap for every family connected to command your money. We stand in the gap on behalf of the children. We stand in the gap on behalf of the children as they go to school. We decree and declare a crap battle like a 
We declare We declare No accident Every program destruction We banish you in the name of Jesus when God reveals, He reveals so that He can redeem. When God reveals, He reveals so that we can put that action to a stop. We bring it to a halt. And so we bring to a halt every program destruction. Close to us, are far from us. We bring it to nothing. We abolish it. We cancel it this morning. No destruction around me. No destruction around my business center. No destruction around my, 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 my dwelling place. I declare everyone connected to me. I bring them under the power of this intercession. Everyone connected to my family. Everyone connected to command your money. Online, on site. We bring you under the power of this declaration. No destruction as you go out. No destruction as you come in. No evil report, no evil occurrence, no evil occurrence at night, in the day, Lord, in the morning, Arabakata, around your work environment, no evil destruction. Somebody open your mouth and prophesy with me this morning. Open your mouth and prophesy with me. No domestic accident, no gas explosion, a krapata, a kapalaye, no plane crash, a karabalata, shabadekete, no boat mishap, no shipwreck, alakute, a krebalakataya. For every traveler today, let's pray this morning. Every traveler today, those traveling by air, those traveling on the high sea, those traveling on land, we abort every negative programming. There shall be no loss this season. There shall be no loss this season. There shall be no loss this season. Somebody proclaim this morning. Somebody declare this morning. There shall be no loss this season. There shall be no loss this season. There shall be no loss this season. Ekabalanta leke tebregedoskia. Ekrebalakata leke bregedoshataya. Ekrebalakata leke bregedoskia. Ekrambaleke tetetetete. Ekre ekalebra andala basakata. Eshabande ketelege bregedoshataya. Ekre ingelebo sande bregedoskia. In the name of Jesus, as you have declared, so shall be. I say, as you have declared, so shall be. There shall be no loss this season. I say, there shall be no loss this season. There shall be no loss this season. No destruction around you this season. No destruction around your family. No destruction around your children. Can somebody help me shout a better amen? When Samuel raised this stone, Samuel called this stone my a stone of my help. But I came to discover that this stone also have another side. Matthew's gospel talking about 21 verse number 44. 
this stone that, that, that Samuel raised, he raised this stone and called it the stone of my help. But this stone has more assignments that we need to engage this morning. Are you there? Matthew's gospel chapter number 21 verse 44. And whosoever shall fall on this stone shall be broken. And But on whomsoever he shall fall on, it shall be grinded into powder. Hallelujah. When Samuel raised this stone, he said, this stone, I want you to help me. But when Jesus came, he began to tell us that this stone has more assignment. The stone is not only for help. The stone is also for judgment. The stone is also for destruction. You are going to pray this morning that in the name of Jesus, that which has been programmed only to over against me is grinded into powder. Yeah, that which has been programmed against my head is grinded into powder. I engage my stone of help this morning. I engage the stone this morning. Raise your right hand and say, my heavenly father. I engage the ministry of the stone. I engage the ministry of the stone. I engage the ministry of the stone. That which have been programmed in the heavens, programmed on earth and underneath the earth to fall on me. Lord, I declare in the place of prayer, they are grounded into powder in the name of Jesus Christ. A crap, but I, I engage my stone this morning. I engage my stone this morning. A crap, but I like a Someone began to tell us that that stone can help. A crab man too began to tell us that that stone can grind. Is a grinder. A crab batter like a tabaya. A crab batter yagada. A crab batter like it. That which have been designed to grind your health as me is grounded this morning. To grind your finance. To grind your business. Is grounded this morning. I engage the stone in my battle this morning. In my intercession and prayer this morning. Money, a crabba and talik is super gadoski, a palacata la catala gabragadoski, a crabba talik is a brigadusata, a crebande to say it's a brigadoski, every invisible battle that I've been trying to grant my health, every invisible battle that I've been trying to grant my faith, every invisible battle that I've been trying to grant my marriage, every invisible battle that I've been trying to grant my ministry, a and I raise the stone, a crab battalabaya. I have a grinder this morning. I raise the stone that will be grinded this morning. Araba lagadoskia. A balakatalaya. A crab batalik subaya. A carabatalik subragadoskia. A crib batalik to brigadusata. Shabra antalikiti a cribedusata. A crick bandus and lake brigadoskia. A crib balakatalik a brigadoskia. A crib bandik zega lake a brigadoskia. A crab batalik to brigadusata. A crab batalik to titititit. A crib balakatulia. A crib basundi. A calabasan de brigadoskia. A balakata lekete brigadoskia, a crabata lekete, a crabata lekete, a shabba and talekete, a crabata lekete. Are you are you crying out to God this morning? Are you crying out to God this morning in the name of Jesus Christ? Some of you can't even identify. You can't identify where the the challenge is coming from. You can't identify the root cause of the challenge. But there is a stone that grinds. There is a stone that grinds. A crab. You cannot just explain this is the third month of the year, but you can just explain how the last two months, how things are happening around you. But the grinder is here this morning. A crabba talikiti melegadoskia. A crabba and talabayagada. A crabba talikiti. Because your 2024 must move forward. Your 2024 must fall into shape. A crabba talabata lakataya. E kala baraka talia kata bragado sataya. E kamba talike to bra inga la basande ke bragado skia. E kreba talike to lege bragado sataya. E kreba like to zabara kata ya. E like to e kufu malatu zia. E sabanta like to 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 to. E kreba talike to bragado skia. E kreba de to sande ke fuke to lege dede. E kreba lika subra dega ya. E kreba talike to 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 to. E kreba Lika Subragada, a crebata lekitititititit, a crabata laya, a crebata la catatata, a suba la catatata, a sickness thrown against your body, be grinded into powder, a crabata lekitibeginuskia, a crabby hand lifted against your destiny, be grounded into powder, a crabata la catatata, sabra antulihi, a sabra antalikiti, a crabata. 
Talakataya, a crib at Talabaya, a Saba Ingolo Brigadoska, a crib at Assam de Gabrigadosa Taya, a Palakatalia Catabaya, a crib Balando San de Gabrigadoska, a crib at Takatalaya, a kick, a labra and Talikate Brigadoska, a crab and Talik Subravada, a crab and Talikate Brigadosa, Sapra and the Laba San de Gabrigadoska, a crib at Talikate Brigadoska, a crab and in the name of Jesus, somebody shout a better amen. I see you waxing stronger and stronger this year. This season, you are waxing stronger and stronger. Nothing can stop you this year. Nothing will stand you this year. In the name of Jesus Christ, the hand of God is upon your life. The hand of God is upon your business. The hand of God is upon your family. The help of God has come for you. The help of God has come for you. God will surprise you with his help. Surprise help. Surprise help. Surprise help. Surprise help. Surprise help. Surprise help. It's coming your way by the Spirit of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Psalms 108. Psalms 108. Your help has come. Your Ebenezer has come. Your Ebenezer has come. Your Ebenezer has come. Your Ebenezer has come. You would not escape the help of God this season. Your business will not escape the help of God. Your family will not escape the help of God. Your children will not escape the help of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. 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 God says to tell somebody this morning god is god god is trying to tell somebody that scholarship is being released to your child this morning scholarship is being released to your child this morning in the name of jesus christ are you there this morning thank you holy spirit thank you holy spirit i see every sickness crossed by the stone this morning every pain you woke up with this morning i see it judged by the stone this morning every Comfort to walk over this morning. I see judged by the stone this morning. I see crossed by the stone this morning. That that that, that bombardment on your mind. I see the stone crossed you this morning. Then somebody help me say a good amen. Somebody say good amen. Somebody are having strong headache as if somebody is conking your head. I see the stone cross you this morning, and you are sent free from that shackle of that, that pain this morning. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, your help has come. I say your help has come. Psalms 108 verse number 12 and 13. Give us help from trouble, for vain is the help of man. Through God we shall do valiantly, for it is he that tread down our enemies. The help of God sponsors exploits. I hear say, when the help of God comes, you begin to do valiantly. You begin to do exploit. Lord God Almighty, exploit by your help. Testimonies by your help. Are you not saying? Breakthroughs by your help. Open doors by your help. You say vain is the help of man. What is trying to tell us that the help of man is so limited. But God's help is unlimited. Raise your right hand say my heavenly father. Well, that voice is very weak, my heavenly father. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. I declare and I decree by your help. I am doing something mega this year. I am doing something mega this season. By your help, exploit is my portion. By your help, I am doing valiantly. By your help, strange activities, strange blessings. Lord, you over taking place are happening around me. By your help, I am doing valiantly. I am doing exploit by the help of God. Lord God, the over my life is a bunch and a bundle of testimonies because of your help. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord God, go say create a labor. E kariba zuzuzuka liaha. E kababa zigedegede. E balakata liakata la balusa. E shabata like ruta laha. E kreba bisule hala kata likabarato ziya. E shakete e kalibra gadusa taya. E krabata likata testimonies by the help of God. Breakthroughs open doors by the help of God. E krabata e kalaba sundegede. E krise true God we shall do valiantly to do valiantly means to do exploit to do valiantly is to produce uncommon results to do valiantly is to like a go beyond the boundaries a crabata ikalabashandabaya a crabba antalikabaya a crepa 
Santa Likatabaya, a Beniza, a Beniza, a Beniza for exploit, help for exploit. Somebody receive help for testimonies, a Krabba and Talaba Shukata, a Kre, a Kaba Zumbo, a Kelebregado Shata, a Banda Catalia Catala Calabregado Satayana, a Karaba and Taleke Subragadoski, a Krepa Catula Bayaha, a Krabba Taleke Subra Indolobo Satayana, a Karaba and Taleke to Brigado Sataski, a Kaleke Brigado Sandi Gabrigadoski, a Kapa la Catalica Telegrade, a Lake Brigado Satabaya, exploit in business by the help of God, exploit in ministry by the help of God, exploit in career by the help of God, family exploit by the help of God, a Krabba and Taleke to Brigadoski, spiritual exploit by the help of God. He said, through God, we shall do valiantly. A karaba anta lekete. A shabba anta lekete brigadoskia. A krabba anta lekete brigadosata. Shabba anta lekete brigadoskia. Which means behind every genuine abarakataya. Resort is the help of God. Not resort by the help of God. Resort in my life by the help of God. Resort in my life by the help of God. Testimonies in my life by the help of God. Testimonies in my life by the help of God. A caraba anta leba suta, a sacata e calabragadosata, a samba e catalemoskia, a bala catalia catalagabragadosia, a crepa talikiti likititititit, a craba anta likatabia, a crepa anda la basunda de brigadoskia, a caraba anta lekete brigadoskia, a samba anta lekete brigadoskia. In the name of Jesus Christ, one more prayer you are going to declare this morning. Anywhere you find the help of God, you find strong people. So the help of God sponsors strength. I hear what I'm saying. Whatever thing will weaken your faith this morning is cancelled. We are cancelling it this morning. Your faith cannot be weak faith this year. Your desire cannot be weak desire this year. Your expectation cannot be weak expectation this year. Anywhere you find the help of God, you find what? The strength of God. Anytime God brings his help, his strength is also brought. <laughs> we are going to pray. Raise your right hand to my heavenly father. In the name of Jesus, I stand on your altar and I receive help. And as I receive help, I receive strength. I receive strength, spiritual strength, mental strength, emotional strength. In the name of Jesus, marital strength, ministerial strength. Lord, wherever your help goes, your strength goes. Wherever your help goes, your strength goes. In the name of Jesus, a crap. I am running through this season a crowd with strength. No occasion for weakness. No occasion for discouragement. No occasion for hopelessness. I go through this season a crap by the help of God and by the strength of God. A crap that I like what the, the, the man of God Caleb says. He said, Ayakata Balagano Shatarihat. He said to Joshua, Joshua, you don't understand. I was 40 years old. When I went to spy the land, God helped us. I am 85 years old now. I am 85 years old and I have strength to go out for battle and to come in. That must be the help of God. That was the testimony of Caleb. I don't know who you are this morning. If at 85, Caleb was so strong to go out for battle and come in. God is increasing your strength. Lord, increase strength this morning. Increase strength this morning. Ekabalika to Brahaya. Ekreba asa katubaya. Ele ekre e bazuti. E shaba antalika tabaya. Ekreba laga nuzi gini gini gini. I have strength to pursue my dream. I have strength to pursue my ministry. I have strength to raise my children. I hear some parents say, I am tired of these children. You need strength to come be tired. They are your asset. I am tired of this business. You cannot be tired. Receive strength to pursue your business. Wherever the help of God goes, the strength of God goes. I am tired of this ministry. You can't be tired of the ministry. Wherever the help of God goes, the strength of God goes. I don't know who God is talking to this morning. You are getting discouraged. You are getting weak because I'm not seeing certain dimension of result. God said His help has come, and because His help has His help has come, His strength.
strength has come. Receive that help and receive the strength this morning. Receive help and receive strength this morning. I have the help of God. I have the strength of God. I function in an increased strength. My strength is increased to go out for battle and to come in for battle. My strength is increased for ministry. My strength is increased for parenting. My strength is increased for business. My strength is increased in the place of prayer. My strength is increased in the word of God. Hey! In the name of Jesus, this morning somebody say, I receive strength because I have received the help of God. I receive spiritual strength because I've received the help of God. I receive mental strength because I've received the help of God. I receive financial strength because I've received the help of God. I receive strength in the name of Jesus Christ. Job chapter number 22, verse 29. That is because coming like a national anthem in, in command your morning when men say there is a what a casting down thou shall say what then thou shall say there is what a lifting up we are going to declare let it be your national anthem do you hear what i said let it be your what national anthem you are waking up in the morning on the bed lord today as men say there's a casting down i am announcing to all asunder i am announcing to the heavens and to the earth i am announcing to my bank account and to my business i am announcing to the angels and to the devil there is a lifting up for me let my situation be a liar let the word of god be true resurrect and say my heavenly father when men rise up today to say that is a casting bar in business, in marriage, in finance, in health. I rise up to say there is a lifting up for me financially. There is a lifting up for me maritally. There is a lifting up for me spiritually. There is a lifting up for me in my health. There is a lifting up for me in my going out. There is a lifting up for me in my coming in. Karabata Sakatabayat. As men wake up today, they say there's a casting down. I wake up with another news. I wake up with a better news that there is a lifting up. Is there anybody in this house that believes the word of God? If your faith says yes, God will not say no to you. If your faith says yes to the word of God, Gabra enter your situation cannot say no. My God and my Father, the one that resurrected on the third day, I stand upon the efficacy of the resurrection power. I stand on the potency of the word of God. Hey, can I declare this a lifting up for me? I stand on the unfailing faith of the Son of the living God. I declare this a lifting up for me. Hey, Brian, my hope is lifted. I am not down, I am up. I am not down, I'm, I am up. Hey, Krabat when men say there's a casting down, I dare to say there's a lifting up because the word of God says so. I believe it so. I refuse to agree with my situation. I choose to agree with the word of God. I refuse to agree with the declaration of the economy. I choose to agree with the word of God. I is anybody in the house this morning that's making that proclamation? Lord, men have come out with their result that there's a casting down, but I come out with another testimony. I stand on another platform. There's a lifting up. There's a lifting up for me. There's a lifting up for my family. The word of God says so. Let every situation be liar. Let the word of God be true. There's a lifting up for my children. There's a financial lifting up. A Krabata, there's a spiritual lifting up. In the name of Jesus. Somebody that, that believes there is a lifting of certain agreement. Amen. Okay, hallelujah. Today is what? What is today's date? It's okay, we have some set of nations to pray for this morning. Let's quickly declare a lifting up for these nations. Hallelujah. Cocos Island. Can you declare Cocos Island? Colombia. Comoros. Congo. Democratic Republic of Congo. Nigeria. Ukraine. Russia. Israel. And Palestine. One more time let's declare Comoros. Cocos Island. Colombia. 
Congo, Democratic Republic of Congo. Alleluia. Nigeria, Ukraine, Russia, Israel, and Palestine. Raise your right hand say, Heavenly Father, we present this island, these nations, these territories before you. Before your throne of grace and throne of mercy. It is written in your word that the earth is you and your fullness thereof. The world and all that dwell therein. So we present Cocos Island, we present Comoros, we present Colombia, we present Congo, we present Republic, Democratic Republic of Congo, Nigeria, Ukraine, Russia, my Heavenly Father, Palestinian, we bring them before you. We bring Israel before your throne. Oh Lord Almighty, let there be a lifting up in this nation, a lifting up of the banner of righteousness, a lifting up of the banner of peace, a lifting up the banner of establishment, a lifting up of the banner of the gospel over this nation. Let the glorious light of the gospel hit this nation in a greater dimension. That we give birth to peace, that we give birth to harvest of souls, that we give to over kingdom glory to prosperity and blessing. A crabba anta leke sobra gadeshki. A crabba lata labagada. A beniza arise over Nigeria. A beniza arise over Cocos Island. Ebenezer arise over Comoros, Ebenezer arise over Congo, Colombia, Democratic Republic of Congo, arise over Israel, arise over the war torn nation, oh Lord, arise over Palestine, oh Lord, arise, oh Lord, Ebenezer arise and help these nations, help the leaders, but the leaders, some of the nations, the leaders are confused, they don't know what to do, Ebenezer arise and help, Ebenezer arise and help Nigeria, Ebenezer arise and help Israel. Ebenezer arise and help Cocos Island. Help Comoros. Help Colombia. Democratic Republic of Congo. Ebenezer arise. Help arise. Jehovah. The helper arise and help the nations. Ekrabata leke subragadaya. Ekrabba antalika subragadoskia. The woman ran to the king and said, King, when the woman ran to the king, the king said, If God does not help you, where will the king help? So the president cannot help, the prime ministers cannot help. It will take the help of God, it will take Jehovah and Beniza, it will take a Beniza for there to be intervention. A Beniza arise over Nigeria, a Beniza arise over Cocos Island, over Comoros, over, over, over Colombia, a Beniza arise over Democratic Republic of Congo, arise over Congo, arise over Israel. Oh God, and let your name be glorified in the name of Jesus. With the sense, everybody, let's thank him and let's bless him. Oh, I am set for help today. Just with the sense and say, Father, thank you. I step into the ocean of help today. Massive ocean of help. 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 In the name of Jesus. Please your right hand on your forehead. I just feel that somebody's testimony has been delivered. May you be the one that will share that testimony today. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus. Please your right hand on your forehead. Father. He said it's a Beniza season. Oh Lord. Behold your children. Wherever they are this morning online on site. A Beniza arise. Supernatural help, unusual help, uncommon help, unsolicited help, no compared help coming their way, financial help coming your way in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, this morning, somebody need urgent help, let it arrive on time. Somebody need a timely help, let it come on time. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Heavenly Father, by your help, they have the advantage. By your help, they are doing exploit. By your help, they are making progress. By your help, they are strengthened. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, may the help of God not depart from you. May the help of God not depart from your family. As you cry for help, enjoy help. And this morning, I decree that the help of God brings to an end every opposition, every attack, every manipulation in the name of Jesus. So shall it be. So shall it be in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, we lift our offerings and we bless you. 
financial help. Above every other thing this morning, let somebody receive financial help. Financial help. Financial help. Financial help in the name of Jesus. So shall it be in Jesus' precious name. Please let's remember that Sunday morning we we'll begin to we'll continue what we have been learning, working in the miraculous. Command your money continues on Monday morning by 6 a.m. Invite somebody, share this video, share your testimony, tell somebody it's time to pray. Hallelujah. And I say something at the beginning of this meeting. The solution to an unanswered prayer is what? More prayers. If you have not seen the answer, you keep the prayer on. Hallelujah. Even when you see the answer, you keep the prayer on. May the Lord bless you. Look at somebody. I'm too connected to be frustrated. I'm too loaded to fail. I'm too inspired to give up. I'm too talented to suffer. I'm too sinful not to be fruitful. I'm too protected to be a victim. I'm too useful to be useless. I'm too great to be disgraced. I'm too honorable to be pitied. I'm too blessed to be cursed. I'm too surrounded to surrender. Too defended to be defeated. I'm too empowered to be subdued. Too intelligent to be sidelined. As I'm too intelligent to be sidelined, I'm too established to be oppressed. I'm too perfect to work in error. I'm too important to be impotent. I'm too invested to be wasted. As I'm too invested to be wasted, I'm a miracle, not a mistake. I'm an asset, not a liability. I'm a treasure, not a trash. I'm a Jew, I'm not a junk. Men are divinely motivated to favor me with their time, a treasure, and their talent. My needs are met. My bills are paid. My debts are canceled. I have more than enough. I'm simply a person of influence. I'm a person of affluence. I'm making global impact. This is my year of notable miracles. And it's my Ebenezer week. Enjoy the help of God today. Have a great day. Jesus' precious name.